Buffalo Bills season officially kicking off Tuesday and players reporting to training camp in at Rochester at St. John Fisher. And one storyline to keep an eye on, which one of the Bills' new eight receivers could emerge as the number two wideout? Statistically, you look at it, we're, we're, we were top three, four offense in the league last year, and um, it wasn't good enough. The Buffalo Bills were sent packing, another year short of making the playoffs. A 2022 team that was clearly missing a threat in the wide receiver position outside of Stephon Diggs. We have seen year after year after year, great offenses win Super Bowls. They win world championships. So if your star receiver doesn't show up day one of mandatory minicamp and the head coach originally stated he was concerned, should Bill's mafia be? Culture isn't just guaranteed within an organization once you establish it. You have to you have to continue to work on it a lot. It's a lot like a marriage in that respect. And I thought that was a great analogy. With Diggs not in attendance, former Miami Dolphins wide receiver Trent Sherfield saw a lot of reps instead and impressed the QB. I've loved what I've seen from Trent so far. The dude works extremely hard. He's one of the hardest working guys on the team. Doesn't complain about anything. He, he's, he's rolling right now. Sherfield is one of eight receivers the Bills picked up this offseason. And only time will tell who will stand out enough to make the active 53-man roster. Guys are getting in and learning the playbook. And it's not a simple off offense by any means. So um, guys are, are very prepared. We're going out there. They know their stuff. Uh, and, and these new guys are doing such a great job. Outside of the eight newcomers in the receiver group, the Bills only returned three wideouts who were on last year's active roster, including second year receiver Khalil Shakir, who might not be left out of the number two conversations for this year's offense. He's going to he's going to have a, a you know, really good year. And I think utilizing him last year um, the way that we did, I, I have a lot of trust in him. I think, you know, he's only going to grow, continue to grow in his role. When it comes to Gabe Davis, he would be the natural choice to emerge as the true number two, but the consistency would have to be proven early because this Bills quarterback needs help out there to do one thing. I so ba badly want to bring Super Bowl here to Buffalo.